Thank you for joining us on Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Arizona where I am delighted to be joined by Laurent Bride, CTO at Komodo Health. Such a pleasure to have you on the program here, Laurent. Thanks for having me. To start with, how does Komodo Health connect the dots between the individual patient journeys and the large scale health outcomes? So uh, let me start by sharing a little bit what Komodo is and uh, our mission. Like our mission is to reduce the global burden of, uh, of disease. And how we do that is by bringing data uh, together with some software that will have a long lasting impact on the patient's outcome. Um, when you think about healthcare today, uh, it all starts with data. Like you need to know your patients. And uh, when you wanna build uh, insights, you need to bring those, uh, that data together. And the way we do that is um, we are working with different uh, um, uh, data partners. Uh, we license, we purchase data, we bring that data together. It could be Rx data, it's labs data, it's MX data, uh, uh, of course. Sometimes we bring genomic data as well or any other data that the customers want to bring us in the, inside the, uh, the environment. So what we do, we, um, we bring that data together, um, we clean it, we merge it, and then we create really powerful data products on top of that. And then we have a platform to consume those data products and build analytics. We can address many different use cases uh, uh, across the industry. Um, it could go from a clinical uh, a trial, uh, development of a new drug. Uh, you are looking to target specific patients' cohorts. How do you go about that? And a lot of our customers are using Komodo exactly to do that. Laurent, thank you so much. Great to have a baseline. Now I want to examine the broader industry. What trends are you noticing and how is the team adapting to an ever-changing landscape with regards to customer results? Well, I mean, I couldn't be a CTO today uh, without talking about AI and Gen AI, of course. And uh, we have a big push uh, uh, along those lines at, at Komodo. One of the products that we're going to bring to market uh, in the coming months is called uh, Map AI. And, and Map AI, at the end of the day, it's really a, a, a way to uh, uh, mingle and, and get answers from uh, our healthcare map and our platform and application, but using uh, natural language processing. So in a very easy way, like uh, in plain English, you will be able to ask questions to the healthcare map. And you're not going to get answers like you would get if you were answering ChatGPT, because the answer you will get from a ChatGPT doesn't have data as part of that. I mean, you will have data, but it's going to be more like generic kind of answers on what type of disease uh, XYZ is. But here with Komodo, we will be able to do that, of course, but bring the insights of the healthcare map and the data structure that it's stored into our, our Snowflake data store. And then there's a, a more to that, like we'll uh, enable the users to create uh, uh, insights automatically, dashboards automatically, and so on. So that's really a big push that we see. And uh, we see that across the, uh, the industry. And Laurent, something else that I recently became aware of as it relates to Komodo Health is what you're doing in the world of cancer. Can you walk us through this? And then also data for good, I know is so important to Komodo. And I know that the audience would love to hear what Komodo is doing in relation to data for good. Yeah, that's, that's a great question. Thank you. So um, we obviously work with every pharma company out there. So uh, uh, we are engaged in a lot of uh, oncology studies and uh, they are using our healthcare map to better understand patients, target them, uh, a work on clinical trial and so on. Um, there's a, a really great things that we've uh, engaged with is with the US government. President Biden uh, recently announced um, um, a Moonshot, uh, which is curing uh, a cancer for good. And, and uh, Komodo is one of the data provider uh, um, around that, uh, that initiative, that uh, public initiative. Um, another thing that we do along the lines of uh, uh, data for good is uh, we are also helping pharma uh, uh, out there or many other uh, uh, customers really um, get better insights on how communities is treated. And we have a lot of uh, race and ethnicity data that we brought into our healthcare map and that really allowed um, uh, changes in behaviors and really start uh, uh, through the insights, you are able to target better uh, underserved communities. So that's also something that we are uh, very proud of. I want to say thank you to you and the broader team at Komodo for the impact that you're having on everyday citizens. How does the data cloud allow the team to unleash patient-centric insights at scale? So when we looked at uh, partners uh, on, on the data space, uh, we look at partners who, who uh, were enabling uh, some of the use cases that I described uh, early on. So you're thinking about, um, uh, when, when we think about scale, we have to think about terabytes of data that makes petabytes of data and how do you run 
uh, uh, analytical workloads on, a, on such data store. When you talk about healthcare um, uh, use cases, you have to be very careful about uh, compliance, right. about governance. Like you cannot do a, a, a anything with the data. Like when you look at the suppliers that uh, we are working with, they have specific data, data user agreements. Uh, so whoever consume an analytics, we need to make sure that how we build that analytics, we have the right lineage in place and so on. And when we look at uh, um, the partners out there, we pick Snowflake. So we pick Snowflake for many reasons. Like stable uh, uh, platform, very performant. Um, we run many comparisons out there um, and it's really easy to use uh, and it just works. I mean, that's, uh, I would say like, if I wanted to summarize like the, 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 the efficiency on the queries, the, um, uh, how stable and, and, and qualitative the platform is, and it just works. So that was, uh, that's how we, uh, we picked uh, uh, Snowflake as our data foundation. Great to hear the impact the data cloud is having across the board for you, Laurent. I want to take a step back again um, and look at a current event, current report that come out of health recently released, and that's your annual report all around data in life sciences. What were the key findings and how is this impacting your forward-looking vision? So um, um, a few weeks back or a couple of months ago, we had uh, our, uh, our summit, like our customer summit. As part of that summit, we announced MapLab. Uh, which is our new platform. And, and MapLab is, uh, I mean, it's three years of work, uh, bringing different experiences uh, uh, together, like bringing different personas on the platform together. And uh, uh, that survey and that annual report you're talking to is a good validation of that vision we had. Basically, when you go through the, 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 the report, you will see that uh, a lot of um, um, healthcare uh, uh, companies out there today are still buying uh, data on their own. Then they end up um, uh, having to go through different data sources. Then they end up um, hiring consultants to uh, um, uh, mix and match the data, cleaning, and so on. Then they will work with different tools to create uh, analytics, visualization, and the likes. And then uh, when you look and when you put that end to end, for some of them, it's going to take six months, nine months, 12 months, 12 months. I mean, so it's. Um, um, the time from uh, the, 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 the way, I mean, the, the time you acquire the data to the insight and the value you bring to your patient uh, can be a, a, a year or more. And um, uh, what customers, what our customers like about what Komodo does is that we can really shorten that uh, uh, time to insights and uh, uh, time to uh, patient outcomes and, uh, and value. Um, and I'm just gonna uh, finish on that, like talking about the trends. We also see, um, uh, really a move toward having a, a patient master. So everything that, or, or most of the, the use cases that we see around patients, uh, or, uh, in healthcare, I'm sorry, are, are uh, centered around patients. And, and for us, like building that patient master with all the software layer and the analytical layer and the application layer on top of that uh, um, is critical to our customers and to us. And we, uh, we pick a, um, a Snowflake as the, the data foundation for that. Laurent, great to hear that you're always putting your patients first in everything that you do. Thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Now. Thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now here in Arizona. I'll see you soon. soon.